Hey guys, so you can see here we have another May Yu 4x4, and this is fortunately the second batch, which I actually never got to try out, and so I saw it on cubing.us, and I figured, you know, why not go ahead and see if this really is the improved version. So I'll just go ahead and get into it. Alright, and here it is, the second batch may you. Now, even on the first batch, the outer layers were pretty nice, so I'll just go ahead and get started with those. Yeah, pretty much the same deal. It has that iconic, sandy feeling. It's really smooth, and it feels kind of like a more substantial maying. It feels as if a maying weren't hollowed out. So it's really smooth, really nice. Let's just try it out on the first batch real quick. Hmm, the first batch does seem a little bit more bumpy. Yeah, this just glides a little bit more. This The first batch does feel a little grindy, even on the outer layers. But the inner layers were really the biggest problem on the first batch, and so we'll just go ahead and get started with those now. Ugh. Oh wow, that's actually not too bad. Yeah, that's actually pretty okay, um, cause out of the box, the first batch, it was really hard to just turn those inner layers without getting any bumps or any obstacles or any lockups of any kind, and it was just really sluggish and grindy on those layers, and it's a little bit better after I've lubed and tensioned it now, but it's still not a very viable speed cube option for 4x4, and this one... You know, I can definitely say it's a lot better, but I'm not too sure if it's going to be a viable main of any sorts. But I'm glad to say that the second batch is definitely a huge improvement over the Mayu, the first batch. So I'll just get this out of my sight. Um, so anyway, this second batch now, it definitely feels better. Um, corner cutting, let's try that out. Pretty good. Reverse is... You know, it's not too bad considering it has those squared off corners, but it is fairly tight. So yeah, I think the most unique thing about this 4x4 is the centerpiece mechanism, which I think is the probable cause of the catching on the first batch. So I don't know, after maybe lubing and tensioning if it'll get a bit better. But out of the box, you know, I can definitely say that it's a lot better than the first batch for sure. It may have potential as being a viable 4x4 main, but I'll have to see how it is after a proper setup. Alright, and so before I wrap up this unboxing, I just wanted to talk a little bit about cubing.us. And so the thing that most attracted me to their website was this charity that they hold called Cubes for Kids. And so if you haven't guessed it by the name already, they essentially donate cubes to kids. And so they have these two cubes listed on their site as the Cutie Cube and the Warrior Cube. And so once those are purchased, they're able to globally donate kids- not kids, they donate cubes, what And so once those are purchased, they're able to globally donate cubes to kids, which I think is just a really great cause. And so along with their amazing service, I definitely recommend that you guys at least check out the site and just see what they're up to. But I hope you guys did enjoy this unboxing, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.